Hi, this is Asin. Today I would like to share the derivative of e x is equal to e x. So we use the first principle to prove this. So we let f x be e x. And so we have x x plus 1 for a small change in x we have e x plus delta x. So according to the first principle, the derivative of a function is equal to, for a small change in x, how likely is the change in the function? Okay, then for how small is this? We have approximately equal to zero or approaches zero. So we just substitute into the function that we have. So delta x approaches 0 for the function e x plus delta x minus e x over delta x. So we have limit delta x minus approaches 0. Okay, we just simplify the function first. So according to the law of indices, e to the power of x plus delta x is actually e x times e delta x. So our variable is delta x. So others means constant. So we just take out or factorize out. So e x times the limit delta x approaches 0. Okay, we take out ex left only e delta x minus take out left 1 over delta x. When delta x approaches 0, e to the power of 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. Then 0 over 0 is in determinate form. Okay, so to solve for this limit, we can refer to the graph that we have. For the red line is the numerator, which is e x minus 1 and for the denominator we let it be y equal to x and what we want is approaches 0 so we just observe the one that near to 0 so from here we can see that when x approaches 0 e x minus 1 is actually approximately equal to x in other words the limit when x approaches 0 from the negative side, we have e x minus 1 over x since they are approximately equal. So we will have approximately equal to 1. Okay, so the limit from the negative side is 1. Okay, negative over negative, we have positive and the limit x approaches 0 from the positive side e x minus 1 over x we have 1 as well so in other words the limit when x approaches 0 for this function we have 1 so this is actually equal to e x times the limit 1 which is e x if, okay, if we don't want to use the graph to prove this limit, okay, then we just rewrite the equation. Okay, we let h be the numerator part. So e power delta x minus 1. So when we rearrange, we obtain delta x is equal to ln h plus 1. Okay, so from here, when delta x approaches 0, so 0, when we substitute e to the power of 0 is 0, 0, e to the power of 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So meaning to say, we have h approaches 0. So we just substitute ln h plus 1. Okay, then we rearrange our equation so we have 1 over h 1 over 1 over h we obtain h 
then loan h plus 1 okay then by using the properties of loan we can shift the coefficient to become the power okay so from here we can recognize that this okay when the limit okay approaches zero we have actually e so meaning to say we have e x times one over loan e one over loan e means that one over one because loan e is one so e x times one we get e x okay then we prove okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you